Week number seven was rivalry week in the SAC, and we had some great matchups. Carroll held Homestead to its lowest point total on the season. The Knights outlasted the Saints. Wayne grounded and pounded the Cadets. And North takes the totem pole for the fourth straight year. The Kelly Automotive Group is proud to sponsor the Summit City Sports Top 10 Players of the Week. Coming in at number 10 is the Leo running back duo of Mason Sharon and Carson Hepner. Sharon carried 19 times for 191 yards with two touchdowns, while Hepner averaged 13.1 yards per carry, totaling 144 yards on 11 attempts with two scores in the 37-6 win at Huntington North. The duo have combined for 1,257 yards this season with 18 touchdowns. Bishop Dwenger running back K.J. Titman takes the number nine spot. Titman ran 28 times for 189 yards with two touchdowns. His first touchdown run gave the Saints the lead 28 to 27 in the third quarter. Six plays later after a Dwenger interception, KJ breaks five tackles en route to this 43 yard touchdown. Northside running back Jonte Lambert comes in at number eight. The junior ran 19 times for 189 yards with two touchdowns at Southside. His first touchdown was an outstanding 49-yard jaunt. And they give it to the second man through. That is Jonte Lambert gets the edge. And Lambert at the 20, the 15, the 10. Touchdown, Jonte Lambert from 49 yards out. He's the real deal. His second touchdown gave the Legends back the lead. And he followed that up with a two-point conversion in the 28 to 25 totem pole win. And Nelson makes the first one miss, bounces through, and lowers his shoulder, puts a hand down for balance, and he's gonna take it to the house. Coming in at number seven is Wayne running back Lamarian Nelson. All he does is put out top 10 performances. He again led the Generals with 215 yards rushing on 19 carries with two touchdowns in the 28 to 26 win over Concordia. Nelson, the SAC rushing leader, ranks number eight in the state with 1,126 yards rushing. New Haven QB Jakar Williams takes the number six spot. He completed seven of 11 passes for 100 yards, including this 57-yard bomb to Mylon Graham for a touchdown. He also rushed five times for 77 yards with three touchdowns in the 42-14 win at Belmont. The Bulldogs have now won two straight. Coming in at number five is East Noble running back Ethan Nichols. Playing without star Kanan Carrico, Nichols picked up the slack, running 29 times for 192 yards with two touchdowns, including this seven-yard score with four minutes remaining in the 19-16 win at Columbia City. Tyrese Brown lines up behind Hoppert. He'll get the handoff here. Brown finds a hole into the end zone. Touchdown, Snyder. Snyder running back Tyrese Brown comes in at number four. The senior had 13 carries for 138 yards with four touchdowns. Tyrese made it look easy versus the Bruins till this 25-yard score where the senior breaks four tackles. Currently, Brown ranks number two in the SAC with 1,007 yards rushing and 13 touchdowns. Brown gets the call again, touchdown! There's your hat trick, Tyrese Brown. Bishop Lures QB Carson Clark takes the number three spot. The senior completed 15 of 24 passes for 233 yards with five touchdowns. He now ranks number five in the state with 1,767 yards passing. His 23 touchdown passes ranks him number four. His fourth TD toss tied the game at 35, and his fifth gave the Knights the lead in the 41-38 win at Dwanger. Carroll linebacker Dylan Bennett comes in at number two. He led the Chargers with 12 tackles and had a tackle for a loss and pass defended, helping to hold Homestead to its lowest scoring output on the season in the 17-10 win for Carroll. The Chargers lead the SAC in scoring defense 
giving up 17.1 points per game. Your Northeast Indiana Game Night Player of the Week has been the area's leading receiver all season long. Bishop Lures Brody Glenn was sensational Friday night, gathering a season high four touchdowns. The senior had six catches for 130 yards in the big win at Dwanger. Glenn ranks number five in the state with 816 yards receiving on the season. And his 12 receiving touchdowns has him tied for second. The Kelly Automotive Group would like to congratulate all the players that made this week's Summit City Sports top 10 list. And good luck next week. This week on Summit City Sports, two of the state's top programs do battle when Bishop Dwanger travels to Snyder. Carroll looks to stay hot at Concordia. Northup travels to the north side with both teams looking for win number three. Leo looks to stay perfect, hosting Columbia City, and Woodland wants to prove they belong amongst the ACAC's best, hosting South Adams. All games can be seen on Summit City Sports.